Hey everyone, it's Amy and Ben here to chat again. Hey. We're from Lounge Room Empire, where we're conquering the world one armchair at a time. Today we're going to be doing our immediate trailer reaction to The Irishman, starring Robert De Niro. And a lot of others. Um, and it's Martin Scorsese's project. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, I really I really liked um, the look of this one. So we haven't seen anything from Martin Scorsese for about 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, mob style movies uh, are really his area of expertise. And mm -hmm. I think uh, this one looks really, really good. They've got a cracking cast. So yeah. got Robert De Niro, got Joe Pesci, Al Pacino. I think Ray Romano's on the cast list as well. Yeah, I didn't. I don't think I saw him. In yeah, the I, I, I definitely didn't see him on screen. But look, it looks like a great cast. I love the look and feel of this one. So yeah. I think that supposedly they spent like two hundred million dollars producing this as well. So. so do you think the money is spent a on the dark Italian restaurant feel with the checkered tablecloths and stuff? Do you think? Most of the money is spent on the aging CGI that you were telling me about mm. earlier. So Robert De Niro, because it's kind of based on the Irishman's life. So Robert yep. De Niro is the Irishman. Yep. And it's based on his life through um, a number of years. Yeah. So there's parts where Robert De Niro, because he's what, like in his 70s now. Yeah. He's, somewhere he's around there. An old codger. Yeah. 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 So, I, I mean, he's not going to be able to pass for 40 unless it's really dark. Yeah. Um, so maybe the aging CGI costs him yeah, a look, fair bit. Yeah, I think, look, I think it's going to be a bit of both. So if they're zipping around timelines as well, you've got um, a lot of money setting um getting the set right to, to reflect the time period so yeah. this all occurs um post world war ii so the irishman was a guy called i think his name was frank sheehan uh sheeran mm -hmm. and so he was an american labor uh union leader mm -hmm. uh and so you can see throughout the ties as well um that they somehow link in with kennedy's um presidential election yeah so i think if you think of those Period, time periods that you're traversing there's going to be quite a bit of money to you know get um extras to get the setting right to get the costuming mm -hmm. right uh it definitely has a different look and feel in that time as well and yeah, so they're true. probably gonna to have to be appropriating some of the film footage from around that time so it might be cover the kennedy assassination so they mm -hmm. might want to be chopping that up as well so a lot of those things um let alone just the anti-aging um cgi i'm not sure how much that stuff costs but i imagine it's not cheap so yeah but look that aside I i'm think interested to see how that actually works out the images in the trailer i thought i thought it all looked great so um like i said for me it's not so much that how much they spend on these things it's just that the production value is kind of in line with what you would expect mm. um so like i said it doesn't matter about the dollar figure but the look and feel of the movie it feels quite genuine. It's, it's you know typical martin scorsese it um they haven't skimped on anything it looks and feels great for me i think it's a really interesting storyline yeah um yeah i'm really really excited yeah i don't know if i am as excited but that's not anything against the trailer or martin scorsese because i am i actually am sure 100 percent sure that it'll be a brilliant movie uh, the thing with these types of trailer reactions is I'm starting to understand more about myself and what I have expectations for in movies. Mm -hmm. And trailers sometimes cannot show what is going to be excellent about the movie. And I know with Martin Scorsese, it's going to be very stylish. The music is, uh, I thought it was a really amazing upbeat um, number in the trailer that tells me that this is going to be a bit of a... Um, I don't know, a hot to trot type of movie where this guy is going to rise the ranks pretty quick and, and it's going to be snappy, it's going to be fast paced and then there's going to be some really drawn out scenes where you really get an understanding of the characters and the emphasis that then builds up to some sort of uh, climax or a couple of climaxes. Yeah. But none of that I can really get from the trailer. There's a lot of um, scenes where you kind of get taken out um, into areas that you don't understand much of the context. And I don't think the trailer provides much context. For yeah, well, I, I think that's the... Um, so if I look at so The Departed, so one of his mm. more recent um, films, so Martin Scorsese's style, at least, is yes, you have those long, drawn-out, um, elaborate stories and plot lines mixed in with really jolting and jarring um character developments usually through deaths or, or killing someone or something like that yeah or well, just like um, uh, loud noises yeah but that itself doesn't lend um well to a trailer because mm. that pacing um that he has like a slower methodical pacing 
ca- can't really be covered too well in a minute and a half trailer. Yeah. Uh, so I think you know, primarily with this one, they what depending on it as well in terms of who has the say on the trailer and what they want to be demonstrating. I think the fact that this is a straight to Netflix film. Um, a couple of things that they want to be demonstrating in the trailer is one, um, the exceptionally good cast that they've got. Yeah. It's going to be amazing yeah. acting. Yep. Two, um, a, a rough outline of the plot line or at least what it's focusing on. And then three, um, the production value to know that they haven't just kind of gone cheap on this. Yeah. I'm definitely going to be watching it. Yeah. So I, I think that's, I think that's what they're trying to cover with their, with their trailer. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be anything departing from no, Martin no, no. Scorsese's normal work. Yep. I don't think it's something where he's trying to stretch his legs or anything. I think it's that Netflix is going with, this is an established, amazing director. This is the stuff that he does best. And this is how they're going to do it. Mm. Um, so I'm excited enough for that. I just don't think, it. one, it's my cup of tea generally. Uh, but two, that I'll enjoy the movie anyway, despite that, because it's Scorsese. Who, yeah, who can that's not it. enjoy it. Exactly. So guys, let us know what you think in the comments below. Having seen the Irishman trailer, are you super pumped to see the latest thing from Scorsese? He's been mm-hmm. quiet for a while. Are you on the fence a little bit like Amy? Or what do you think about his distribution directly through Netflix? Yeah. Let us know in the comments below. While you're there, hit like, hit subscribe, and we will see you next time. See ya.